In cryptography, a Schnorr signature is a digital signature produced by the Schnorr signature algorithm that was described by Klaus Schnorr. It is a digital signature scheme known for its simplicity, among the first whose security is based on the intractability of certain discrete logarithm problems. It is efficient and generates short signatures. It was covered by U.S. Patent 4,995,082 which expired in February 2008. Topic. Algorithm Topic. Choosing parameters All users of the signature scheme agree on a group G display style G of prime order Q display style Q with generator G display style G in which the discrete log problem is assumed to be hard typically a Schnorr group is used all users agree on a cryptographic hash function H 0 1 Z Q display style H 0 1 caret asterisk right arrow math B Z underscore Q topic notation in the following exponentiation stands for repeated application of the group operation Juxtaposition stands for multiplication on the set of congruence classes or application of the group operation as applicable. Subtraction stands for subtraction on set of equivalence groups. M element of 0 1 display style M in 0 1 caret asterisk the set of finite bit strings S E E V element of Z Q display style S E E underscore V in math B Z underscore Q the set of congruence classes modulo Q display style Q X K element of Z Q times Display style x k in math b z underscore q caret times the multiplicative group of integers modulo q display style q for prime q display style q z q times equals z q zero q Display style math b z underscore q caret times equals math b z underscore q set minus overline zero underscore q y r r v element of g display style y r r underscore v in g topic key generation. Choose a private signing key X display style X from the allowed set. The public verification key is Y equals G X display style Y equals G caret X. Topic signing to sign a message M display style M. Choose a random K display style K from the allowed set. Let R equals G K display style R equals G carrot K. Let E equals H R M display style E equals H R parallel M, where display style parallel denotes concatenation and R display style R is represented as a bit string. Let S equals K minus X E display style S equals K Z. The signature is the pair S E display style S E. Note that S E element of Z Q display style S E in math B Z underscore Q. If Q two thousand one hundred sixty display style Q, then the signature representation can fit into forty bytes.
Topic Verifying Let R V equals G S Y E Display style R underscore V equals G carrot S Y carrot E Let E V equals H R V M display style e underscore v equals h r underscore v parallel m if e v equals e display style e underscore v equals e then the signature is verified topic proof of correctness It is relatively easy to see that E V equals E display style E underscore V equals E if the signed message equals the verified message R V equals G S Y E equals G K Minus X E G X E equals G K equals R display style R underscore V equals G carrot S Y carrot E equals G carrot K Z G carrot Z equals G carrot K equals R and hence E V equals H R V M equals H R M equals E display style E underscore V equals H R underscore V parallel M equals H R parallel M equals E public elements G display style G G display style G Q display style Q Y display style Y S display style S E display style E R display style R private elements K display style K X display style X this shows only that a correctly signed message will verify correctly. Many other properties are required for a secure signature algorithm. Topic: <laughs> Key leakage from nonce reuse. Just as with the closely related signature algorithms DSA, ECDSA, and ELGAMAL, reusing the secret nonce value K Display style K on two Schnorr signatures of different messages will allow observers to recover the private key. In the case of Schnorr signatures, this simply requires subtracting S display style S values S minus S equals K minus K minus X E minus E display style s s equals k k x e e if k equals k display style k equals k but e does not equal e display style e n e q e then x Display style x can be simply isolated. In fact, even slight biases in the value k display style k can reveal the private key after enough signatures. Topic: Security argument. 
The signature scheme was constructed by applying the Fiat Shamir transformation to Schnorr's identification protocol. Therefore, as per Fiat and Shamir's arguments, it is secure if H H is modeled as a random oracle. Its security can also be argued in the generic group model, under the assumption that H H is random prefix preimage resistant and random prefix second preimage resistant. In particular, H display style H does not need to be collision resistant. In 2012, Surin provided an exact proof of the Schnorr signature scheme. In particular, Surin shows that the security proof using the forking lemma is the best possible result for any signature schemes based on one-way group homomorphisms including Schnorr-type signatures and the gilu Keysquatter signature schemes. Namely, under the ROMDL assumption, any algebraic reduction must lose a factor f e f q h display style f epsilon underscore f q underscore h in its time to success ratio where f 1 display style f leq 1 is a function that remains close to 1 as long as e f display style epsilon underscore f is noticeably smaller than 1 inch where e f display style epsilon underscore F is the probability of forging an error making at most Q H display style Q underscore H queries to the random Oracle topic short schnorr signatures The aforementioned process achieves a t-bit security level with four t-bit signatures. For example, a 128-bit security level would require 512-bit signatures. The security is limited by discrete logarithm attacks on the group, which have a complexity of the square root of the group size. In Schnorr's original 1991 paper, it was suggested that since collision resistance in the hash is not required, then therefore shorter hash functions may be just as secure, and indeed recent developments suggest that a t-bit security level can be achieved with three t-bit signatures. Then, a 128-bit security level would require only 384-bit signatures, and this could be achieved by truncating the size of E until it is half the length of the s-bit field. Topic. See also DSA EDSA Elgamal Signature Scheme Notes <laughs>